Concept 4, using two points to find intercepts. So sometimes we don't really need to know the whole um, equation. Okay, That's not really what we're after. What we really need to know, what um, is important for us to figure out, is just the intercepts. Okay, And that can be where the valuable information is. All right? If you're thinking about... Um, like the the oil spill that was here you know 20 years ago or however long um 30 years ago i guess um if we're looking at say the oil draining out of that tanker um, and we know you know where it was at one point and where it was at another point um we don't really need to know the whole equation okay what we need to know is how long is it going to take before that's all the way drained, right? Or um, how long do we have before, you know, this amount of oil gets into the water? All right. Um, so there, there are some times where the intercepts and that information is really all we need. Okay. Unfortunately, we pretty much have to find the equation of that line in one form or another in order to get those intercepts. Okay, um, so when we're given two points, all right, um, I think the best way, and for for any of these that you're doing, the way you're going to start is to find the slope. Okay, using the slope formula, so y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. All right. Um, choose, let's see, let's go with this being point 0.1 and this being point 0.2. That way my values will turn out to be positive. So I have my y2, 5 minus my y1, negative 1, over x2, 3, minus x1 negative 5. 5 minus negative 1 or 5 plus 1 is 6 and 3 minus negative 5 or plus 5 is 8. Okay, so my slope is going to be 6 eighths or 3 fourths. Alright, now that I've got my slope and I've got two points, now I can either put it into point-slope form or slope-intercept form. Okay. Uh, well, I shouldn't say that because I can't put it into slope-intercept form yet. Um, but what I can do is put in my slope and one of these points and solve for my y-intercept. Okay. So if I'm going to do that, y equals mx plus b. Okay, I'm going to fill in my m, 3 quarters, my x value, I'm going to use this point because it's positive, um, it'll probably be easier, it's going to be times 3, okay, plus b equals 5. Alright, and now let's see if this turns out to be ugly or not. 3 over 4 times 3 over 1 is going to give me 9, 9 fourths plus b plus 5. I'm going to subtract 9 fourths from both sides. Okay. And this is where I'm going to want to convert my 5. Um, my 5 over 1 to 20 over 4, and then subtract the 9, which will give me 11 fourths is equal to b. So that's my y-intercept, 11 fourths. That's kind of ugly, um, but we should be able to still work with that. Okay, so go back up into my, and this is going to be um, step 3 here, okay? Um, I did this to get my y-intercept, so I can make my um, full equation, right? My y equals 
my m three-fourths x plus my b or 11 fourths okay and now i'm going to solve um, this to find my x-intercept so i set my y to zero zero equals three-fourths x plus 11 fourths turning into a long question uh, subtract 11 fourths subtract 11 fourths and I get negative 11 fourths is equal to 3 fourths x to get x by itself to isolate x I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal 4 thirds times 4 thirds. Oh, and that looks like that actually turned out pretty nice. These will cancel, and these will cancel. So that'll get me, even though the numbers might be um, kind of weird, that'll give me negative 11 over 3 is equal to x, and y is 0. So my x intercept is negative 11 thirds. My y intercept is 11 fourths right so it is and it can be a longer process to find that out because you have to convert into your equations and use the slope formula um, but as long as you are using the correct forms and solving for the terms that you're missing you should be able to um, find the intercepts given any two points.